Okay. I'm recording. I'm recording. All right, let's do that. I have cramps and the sun is almost down. Well, let's do this. So, hello everyone. My name is Vicky and I forgot my I forgot everything. <laughs> so, let's try it again. Hello everyone. My name is Vicky and welcome to my channel. I hope you are well. You are doing great. You feel nice and cozy. And today's video, in today's video, um, you are going to see how I struggle. You already see it. And uh, a few things before I let you go to see the video itself, uh, the painting process itself, uh, that first of all, I never used the medium, the gouache itself in uh, these, this kind of project before. And the second thing is that uh, it was a really big challenge for me, the painting itself and the recording itself. And uh, this project took over a month to finish uh, for my own uh, reasons, uh, but uh, at the end I am really proud of it. Uh, I really didn't like it. So now jump to the let's jump to the video and I will carry you over it. Yay. <laughs> First of all, I did not record it, me drawing it up itself, and I first started it in with watercolor. Um, it was nice, I wanted to do the whole thing with watercolor, but soon you'll see I uh, switched mediums. <laughs> yeah, um, I did not record it, the switching itself. Um, I was just, uh, I felt really awkward, I felt really awkward, I did not want it to record it at some point and I was like that, if I already started then let's finish it. And uh, with the gouache at the beginning I had problems too because I uh, was afraid, I was afraid to use it and then I uh, watched some uh, mini, smalls, mini small videos, she's awesome, she's really awesome. And uh, it, her videos and how she paints just kind of pushed me. And this is when the painting started to get alive. <laughs> and I started to like it. Not really. Honestly, no. no. I, I did not like it until almost the end. Uh, but there was parts that uh, made me enjoy it more. So yeah. Uh, also, another inspiration for me are uh, Claude Monet's paintings, how she, how he paints. Almost said she, oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, my other inspiration is Claude Monet's paintings, in, uh, Impressionism. I really like it and uh, yeah, I wanted to kind of interpret it in here. So yeah. Another thing uh, to know about me that I painted um, in digitally a lot and uh, I already learned ha some stuff and I kind of brought it to the painting itself uh, like the like the rocks um, it's kind it's kind of not really kind of it's literally the same uh, method how I painted digitally the rocks as I painted them here and uh, I was I was kind of happy and uh, it was a bit some kind of just surprising for me that I can do s the same thing with gouache as I'm doing with uh, digital painting um, I had problems with the some problems with the houses uh, they did not get together until pretty much long in it and yeah um, 
I had some uh, inspirational pictures on Pinterest for me. I even made a, an, a board for it, for myself, to get uh, references. And yeah. <laughs> mm, it only started uh, getting together slowly, really slowly, and I uh, put it away, just put it away the project itself for a long time because I really did not like it at, at the beginning mostly the rocks the rocks were the ones that uh, gave me that nice feeling <laughs> cozy nice feeling Uh, I really liked painting the rocks, and um, yeah, it was those were the I the rocks were the ones that pulled together really the picture and really made me finish it. Also, the fact that I don't want to uh, be like it, I don't want to end up like. Uh, someone who never finished anything and I have too many unfinished projects already I don't want it, this to be one yeah. uh, The little street is uh, <clears throat> I, I liked painting this uh, that little street. I liked painting the street itself, uh, but uh, at the first time it was perfect. I got it perfectly for myself. I was really really um, happy about it. But the second, uh, the one uh, above the upper street, it, it was a disaster. It was a disaster. At the end, I tried to fix it, but it's still a disaster. Um, I wanted to give all the rocks a little blue glow because of the uh, of the sky. Um, but yeah, and uh, some edges, some contrast and highlights. <clears throat> The an another struggle with the houses itself, I had no idea what I wanted to do with uh, the roofs. But at the end uh, I made it with tiles. Tiles? Do you call them tiles? I don't know, maybe? Uh, also, uh, what you will see, uh, what you already saw, that I was switching places and camera angles a lot. Uh, this is why I said earlier that it was a challenge for me. Uh, because I never done a video like this before and I wanted to try everything at some point uh, so yeah um, at the end I stick to the to my desk because that was the most comfortable and uh, kind of the, the best angle maybe I don't know I might switch around for future proje projects but for this I tried out some angles because I wanted to experiment. At this point I was really really pleased with the uh, with the roofs, the color of the roofs. Um, Giving in some, putting in some details, I really liked it. Also the reason why I always jumped around the picture itself, because first of all, I, I was bored at uh, the part that I was working on, or I was like that, uh, I should go to another part, so I can pull it together more. And uh, in art school they uh, taught us that uh, we should never do uh, our projects, our paintings, our drawings, uh, just part by part, work on it as it is together, the whole thing. 
and it really helps because uh, you are not uh, over um, focusing on one part you are uh, trying to pull the whole thing thing together at once but yeah if you are about to do details you should really focus on one part and then switch to another there, sh there should be always a healthy amount of jumping around and focusing on one thing because if you are focusing too much it's gonna just carry you you can carry uh, get carried away and it's gonna fall apart or you can work on the whole thing and it and it can get daunting if you are just loosely working on everything Here I put, it, put in some shadows and lights, the blue lights again, I really liked it. At this point I really really liked the roofs, how, I, how they ended up, uh, they were just so lovely. I finished up the rest of the rocks up there, they were really nice. I really love painting rocks, I just love it, yay! And yeah! Time for the upper street. Uh, also, uh, here and uh, at the end, I uh, put uh, contrast and uh, darker tones onto the rocks because uh, they just fell apart. And I just jumped here, uh, the street is already painted up and it's just glowing because there was a too dark, I, I painted it with too dark grey, grey, uh, uh, I can't talk, I can't speak. So at the street the the uh, paint that I used there got was a too dark shade of grey and uh, it, it wasn't working really. And with the trees and the foliage, which is there, I you saw, you saw the whole, until now, you saw that there were just blobs of green. I really loved the colors itself, but I did not know what I wanted, wanted to do with them. Ugh. So I did not, didn't really know what to do with those uh, trees, and at the end I was just like, I am going to paint, like, paint these as I want. Here's some really nice close-up footage, why not? <laughs> Some polishing everywhere, putting up some contrast and colors, and really don't know what I want to do with those trees. <laughs> From time to time, I'm putting. Uh, I was putting up some uh, contrast, some darker gray for the rocks itself because they were just too plain. Not really. There was no depth to them. I still have to learn how to paint 
trees pop properly. Not really properly, just uh, find a way that is uh, good with my style and I like it and it works in, a, in the way I want it. Also, as, as soon as I put down these uh, darker shades, this uh, darker grey for the, the rocks, it just it just looks really really good. I really loved it. This is the point where, where I started to like liking the whole painting. Actually at the roofs. I started liking the painting uh, when I got to the roofs. Before that I really really hated it. <laughs> I fixed the upper road up a bit. Yeah. And I uh, put some finishing touches on the ro uh, on the doors of the houses, so they are not just uh, some kind of plain sheet or something. <laughs> and here is the end where I uh, bring together the background and the foreground. Uh, I bring some clouds. So yeah, some details are just getting obliterated, just destroyed. <laughs> but uh, at the end I really really like it and I did not regret it that I did this, because it really brings together the whole picture. And then some peeling shots, yay! Sadly, the footage I could have made a really good uh, ASMR part here, but uh, my my love just was on the phone during this process, and here he helped me to get a good shot. cutting it off the block. And yay! That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And also, if you like, yeah, uh, uh, if you liked it, uh, please like it, subscribe. I don't know, whatever you love, you want. Also, if you liked the painting itself, you can buy it on my uh, in my Redbubble shop. Um, it will be available for you uh, also uh, I hope you are the uh, you are healthy you are well and see you in the next video bye